Dad sent me to my room. <sighs> Friends, Dad told me not to hit my sister, but she made me so mad. She was playing with my doll. She always plays with my toys, and, <sighs> and she has her own dolls. Dad said I can't come out of my room until I tell her I'm sorry, but guess what? I'm not sorry. Sharing your toys can be a hard thing to do, but you should always obey your dad. It's true. Casey, you don't understand. She always plays with my toys. It's not always easy to obey. Let's go on a Bible adventure to see what the Bible has to say. Well, I have nothing else to do because I'm not ready to tell my sister I'm sorry. Telephony. I wonder what he wants. Hi, Telephony. Hello. Hi, friends. Are you ready to hear my funny joke? I don't really want to hear a joke. Friends, do you want to hear Telephony's joke? All right, Telephony. Tell us your joke. Okay, here it goes. What do you call cheese that is not yours? Cheese that's not yours? I don't know. What do you call it? Nacho cheese! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Telephony, that was funny! Thanks! Telephony did make me laugh, and I'm really excited to hear our Bible story today. I wonder if Clocky can tell us if it's time for the Bible story. Hi, Clocky. Can you tell us what time it is? It's time to ring my bell. That's not a bell. Friends, what was that? You're right, that's a dog. Clocky, try it again. Whoops, hold on. I'll try to ring my bell. That's it, friends, that was a bell. Let's give Clocky two thumbs up and say, good job, Clocky. You ready? Good job, Clocky. Clocky, what time is it? It's time to hear a Bible story. Yay, I love Bible stories. But wait, we need our Bible. Hmm, I bet Casey can help us. Casey, Clocky said it's time for our Bible story, but we need the Bible. Can you help us? I can help find the Bible for the Bible story. Open my door, it's inside of me. Great! Hmm, I wonder where it is. <gasps> Friends, look, it's a rubber ducky. Quack, quack. This won't help us though. Oops. <laughs> Oh, I just love the Bible because everything in the Bible, it's true. <laughs> but first, we need to get ready for our Bible story today. Let's click on our listening ears. Click, 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 click. And now let's put on our special eyes. Shakoom, shakoom. Great job, friends. <laughs> friends, in the Bible, there's a true story about a man named Noah. God told Noah to build a great big boat. Hmm, I wonder what he needed to build that big boat. I bet he needed a hammer and a saw. You know, I was playing with my hammer and saw the other day. I can't remember where I put them though. I know, I put them in Grover. Hmm, I wonder where it is. I know I put it in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Here's my saw. You know Noah, he had to use a saw to cut wood. Let's pretend like we're cutting wood together. 
Keep sawing. <laughs> Great job, Brent. It was a really big bone. Hmm. But now we need our hammer. I wonder where it is. Huh? Can't find it. Oh, wait. Here it is. Here's our hammer. Know how to use the hammer to build the boat. Let's pretend like we're hammering together. Keep hammering, friends. <laughs> You know, God told Noah to build a great big boat. And I wonder if Noah obeyed. I know. Let's find out as we watch the Bible story come to life. This is Noah. Noah is in the Hall of Fame because he listened to God. God created the whole universe. He created the sun and moon and stars, the sky above and the sea below. God created the animals and the people. Over time, the people on earth began to do bad things because they didn't listen to God. There was only one man in all the earth who was different because he listened to God. That man was Noah. So God told Noah to build an ark. He told Noah exactly how to build the ark and it was to be the biggest boat ever built. God told Noah to build an ark for his family and the animals to live on during the flood. When the ark was ready, God told Noah to load everyone into the large boat. They entered in pairs, each with another of its kind. After seven days, it started to rain. The underground waters erupted from the earth and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights and then stopped. Many days later, Noah sent out a dove to find dry land, but the dove came back. After seven days, Noah sent out the dove again, and it returned with a branch. After seven more days, Noah released the dove again. This time, it did not return. This made Noah think the dove found dry land where it could rest. Noah lifted the covering of the boat and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. Noah trusted in God's plan, and God protected his family during the flood. Now, the flood had come and gone, and Noah, his family, and all of the animals walked on land again. Noah built an altar and sacrificed burnt offerings to the Lord. God was pleased with Noah's sacrifice and made a promise to Noah that he would never again destroy the earth and every living thing with a flood. God put a rainbow in the sky to remind Noah and all mankind of this promise. Wow! God kept Noah, his family, and all of the animals safe because Noah obeyed God. Friends, everything in this Bible is true. So that must mean the Bible tells us to obey. <laughs> That's Clocky. Hi, Clocky. <laughs> Hello, friends. I have good news, I'd have to say. You've just discovered the special words today. <gasps> Did you hear that, friends? We just discovered the special words for today. <gasps> but wait, Clocky, what are our special words? The special words today are... The Bible tells us to obey. Friends, our special words today are... The Bible tells us to obey. Can you say that with me? The Bible tells us to obey. One more time. The Bible tells us to obey. Great job, friends. Yeah, singing is great. I'd have to say, let's sing about how I can obey. God wants me to obey. To obey. God wants me. God wants me. To obey. To obey. Doing what's right. Doing what's right. Every day. Every day. God wants me. God wants me. To obey. To obey. God wants me to obey. God wants me to obey. Obey. God wants 
on the Bible adventure today. You learned the Bible tells us to obey. You can make things right with your sister and dad. Just say you're sorry, then you won't need to feel sad. You're right, Casey. Friends, I'm so glad that the Bible tells us to obey. Let's pray right now and ask for God's help. Ready? Place your hands out in front of you. Now open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, lay them in your lap. Repeat after me, friends. Dear God, thank you for our Bible story. Please help us to obey. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'm so glad that you came on our Bible adventure today. Just a minute. I'm gonna see if my sister wants to play dolls with me. <laughs> right after I tell my sister and my dad I'm sorry. Don't forget to obey, just like the Bible says. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> We're going 